Hambini fans and welcome to day two of Eurobike, fresh from the Covid super spreader event that was the S-Bahn. So more stuff here, so we're at Scope Wheels, Scope 3D printed hubs and that's how they, they come out. This looks like it's been the final product. Now if you look at this in great detail, this is not anywhere near as good as something that's been forged and machined. The machining in there, I mean, look at that, the hole's not even round. So it's almost like, looks like a, an octagon. Not that great. And then you can see the lines in here as well. It just looks rough. So this is the Vision ACR system. So they've got handlebars up here. And one of the things that all these bikes are coming out with now is basically integration. So depending on which bike you have, which frame you have, you can just change the spacer and then it'll fit your bike. So there's quite a fair number of spacers that they've got and you can probably get some more on there. These are the wheels, uh, Vision Metron wheels. So it's quite a popular wheel. Um, I mean, it, it feels quite agricultural compared to the stuff from, from China. Here we go. I'm about to meet a YouTube celebrity, a proper YouTube celebrity. He's got his hands in his, his head in his hands. Look at him. Who we got? None other than Mr. Nero Show himself. Chris Miller. I've been here for four hours and I'm done. I'm done. I can't handle this. I don't know how anyone does this. I am totally fried at this point. Like, this is just insane. These people are insane. This whole industry is bizarre. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Give me some of your wisdom. Jesus. I'm only here for the clunge. Oh, okay. Good. Me so. Right then, we are here at IC Trainer. I think that's pronounced Itze. That's right. So Itze, because it's German. So it's Germany's answer to Zwift. And we've got Nicholas and Philip. And they're going to talk to you a little bit through how this works. It is quite impressive, I have to say. It's like Zwift on EPO. So we're here at the stand from IC Trainer. It's indoor cycling trainer. That's the reason because it's IC Trainer. So that's a former promotion. Where, um, yeah, the discount version uh, for indoor cycling, if you only want to pay two euro per month, you can use this indoor cycling software. And yeah, there are many opportunities with real routes, with workouts, with different uh, training partners. So you have many opportunities uh, to use this software for your indoor bike or for your treadmill or water rower. Right, so we are over here at L2 and this lovely gentleman over here uh, a la well, he just gave me the complete rundown on his on his map um, for the way that L2 are going to basically contact, conquer the market. It's quite scary, if I'm honest. As a as an engineer, it's like a fairly well engineered organisation, which I wasn't quite expecting. This is the group set. Now you can play with this, and it does feel a bit clunky, if I'm honest. So this is the electronic. L2 shift. Jeez, that is rapid. That's faster than I'd ever need. Wow. We've got this, which is fresh out of the machine, wherever it came from. And you're probably looking at it thinking, what the fuck is that? Well, that's what I thought as well. I can't even lift the uh, thing up because the guy that invented it didn't want his picture on YouTube. So this is a wireless tire pressure monitoring system. So it tells you the pressure. And the interesting thing about this is it does not require a battery. So it's powered from the NFC coil. And then this is the sensor. Wind space. So this is the wind space agile. It's a bit more of a relaxed geometry compared to the 1550, which we'll come on to. Um, it's got bigger tire clearance than the last one. All the routing is internal. Also, I've got oversized headset bearings. They are considerably oversized compared to the, the last model. Um, and it's slightly shorter on the top tube. 
Hypers, D, D Series Hypers. Had these tested before. Again, there's no real issues with them. The Mega, uh, this review is coming. And this has, I guess it's a general trend now towards integrated spokes. This one has the drive uh, locked on with these Torx head screws. But we've seen some of the wheels here which have eliminate those and the whole thing is together. <laughs> Hyper 23s, so this is similar to last year's but they've made them wider to accommodate even wider tires. Over here is the Windspace T1550, so this is the Gen 2 model. It's got wider headset bearings still. Um, the front fork is ever so slightly wider and they've put a blind hole in here so the through axle has no protrusion out the other side. This is an aero gain and it's the same at the back. All the routing is internal and it goes straight through. If you've got SRAM then you don't even have to worry about the routing of the uh, power wire. Right then, this is the Windspace SLC3. Uh, the things you need to know about this are, Jesus Christ, it is light man. 700 grams in a medium. Uh, this isn't available just yet. I think it's available in August or maybe September of this year. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's mega light. Right, this individual harassed me on Instagram and said I had to come past his, uh, his booth. And basically, obviously I like machining, these are Erase hubs. And the key difference here is they've machined the teeth on their DT style Swiss ratchet into the free hub, which is a bit unusual. And the corresponding one, which is usually two pieces in there, is now one piece as well. Key thing is they are the OEM for Kerr Hunt. Right, so a brand, Adapt, and we've got one of their new wheels. Now these probably look like the average trend of wheels with a wavy pattern, but it's the way these are made that's slightly different. So these are actually glued in in one piece, and then the hub is also one piece. Yeah, so he's got a little cutout here Oops. of how that is made. So that is not particularly easy to make mm -hmm. uh, and the drive is on these flats here yes. and then that takes the drive through so you haven't got any bolts or nuts to use. Fast Sports, the original Chinese wheel brand so I had these last I think 2016, 2015, they've come a long way since then. There's the disc that I think we've had on the show a few months ago, which is basically the fastest setup that you can get. So tri-spoke and a disc. And then if you haven't used these before, I strongly recommend them. The Fastbox handlebars are by far the best ones that I've ever used. Slightly unexpected, Fastbox have started making their own frames. So this is their first frame. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but it's sort of like an aero road bike very boxy sections, especially around here. This is all the profiles that they've got, and you just go through all the way through. So this one's actually asymmetric. So over here, at an undisclosed location in the middle of nowhere, famous people like me get to see shit that no one else can. This is a knacker profile spoke. So we've got a wider section on that side, and the narrower section on that side. Right, so we are over here with a Red Dot Design winner, Q Connector Line. Do you wanna give us a demonstration of how this works? So this is a hydraulic coupling and this gentleman's gonna show us how it works. So if you've got internal routing, one of the problems is servicing it. So this is a quick coupling. You pull the pin out and then it comes apart. And if you wanna get it back together, Now, there's valves in there, so it won't really introduce much air. You still have to bleed it, but you're not going to get massive leaks coming out of it. So thought that was quite clever. Right, this is, this is going to be completely unexpected. I have got Dave. Hello. 
Ah, uh, what a chance on here. On the same camera. On the same camera. <laughs> be nice. I, I have to be nice. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm objectively nice. I just ream crap stuff. Okay. Right, Dave, what brings you to, uh, well, I'm not, what, what brings you here? Well, to, did, uh, to your bike. Well, hopefully, so you see some cool bikes and new products and, and see you. Oh, and what have you di dived into? <laughs> Dived into. Well, right now, I've dived into a time over here, which I think you'll approve of. Yeah, okay. I so I, I yeah, supplied the bottom brackets to them. Is that like your bottom brackets? Should we have a look? Go, go Is on. It's still spinning. Of course it spins. <laughs> oh, no, it can't. It's fixed to the stand. Oh, no, it's not very uh, smooth. That's not even my bottom bracket. So Cuts. we're at the 